This is the weather forecast video for Saturday, November the 19th, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see a storm system off to our north and west producing some snow across the northern Rockies and in the Pacific Northwest, especially the Cascades, while the rest of the nation is fairly quiet and will remain so through today. The watch warning map from just before midnight, winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings extending from the Cascades eastward through the northern Rockies into South Dakota, northern Minnesota, and northern Wisconsin, while the rest of the nation is tranquil. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock shows the heaviest amounts of rain will be with a storm system at midweek across the Red River Valley through the middle Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley with rainfall amounts of 3 to 4 inches possible. Let's take a look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 6 p.m. this evening. You can see a Vort Max over about Minneapolis where the snow will be flying of 3 to 6 inches and another over the Pacific Northwest. And the surface, low pressure, fairly close to the tri-states with the snow north and west. Here we could see some scattered rain at a 20% shot and rainfall will be fairly light. Sunday gone is the storm system to our south and east. High pressure is in control. Temperatures cool off into the middle up to upper 30s to low 40s with northwesterly winds. By Monday, winds still from the north but lighter with high pressure near Fargo. Rainfall to our south along the stalled front. And we head to Tuesday. That storm system begins to lift out, could bring some scattered clouds to the southeastern half of the state, albeit that the precipitation will remain over Missouri, Illinois, and into the Ohio and lower and middle Mississippi Valley. We head to Wednesday, high pressure over about Columbus, Ohio. Southwesterly winds will begin to take hold, and as a result, temperatures will climb back into the 50s across the state, maybe a few upper 40s across the northeast. But on Thanksgiving, 50s statewide, maybe a 60 or two across the south and western counties. Winds will be quite gusty, 15 to 20, gusting over 25 at times on Thursday. Heading into Friday for the big Black Friday shopping. This is Friday evening. After all the big deals, you can see some rain is possible as it comes in with the return flow from the Gulf. And on Saturday, a week from today, you can see a big vortex over Texas, while the main jet stream or the polar jet remains over the U.S.-Canadian border. And with that, that could mean some precipitation coming in from that upper level low with the stream coming out of the Gulf could create some rain showers. And that will be the case, rain showers, not snow, across at least the southeastern half of the state. We head further into Voodoo, the 30th. You can see another upper level feature over northern Mexico while the main storm track looks to be coming from the north and west in our area. And with that, we could see a stream of precipitation coming in from the Pacific Northwest and it could be in the form of rain and or snow with temperatures in seasonal conditions in the lower middle 40s and at the end of the forecast on December the 4th a uh, fairly significant trough over the eastern half of the country with the northwesterly flow aloft and another upper level feature south of San Diego and that will be significant a 1036 millibar high over Oklahoma City and this could be our first significant arctic outbreak if this pans out now time for the weekend football forecast <laughs> Thank you for watching the weather forecast video. We'll have another one.
tomorrow.